going to the next Never stop, never stop, always on attack Locked in the path, never getting off track Whenever oh, yeah. I'm back, attitude is bad And I got friends no. no. Yo, what is good? Dunk Life Daily, episode two, day two. Let's go, yo. More pumped than ever for this podcast, bro. I'm seriously loving it. It feels perfect to me, and it feels like it's everything culminating, every, every strength that I have into one, and I'll explain. The dunking aspect's pretty straightforward. It's my training. It's updates on my training, everything I learned through training, but the dunking, the whole journey, the process, the mindset, the nutrition, all of it is... Uh, fucking you know leads into all aspects of my life and the dunk life part of it the life part is what the fuck is going on so my choice in that question answering that is just enjoy as much as i can make the most of what's happening and that's what i want to inspire to do and that's what i want this to be about and um what i love about this is that it's the dunking is my passion and the expressing myself is my passion and that energy is my passion so i start this podcast started every morning with that energy. So the, if you don't learn anything, at least you start with a little bit of that fuel. Boy, you feel me? Um, so today I wanted to also mention that any questions you have, dunk life related, uh, put it in the comments below because that's where I'll answer them. And I figured that's the best way to do this because um, obviously great for engagement. Come on. But also, if you DM me, I'm getting the same question over and over again for years now, and we've always wanted like a forum, but if you post it in the comments below, other people can read them, people can like them, it'll just be a lot easier, and I can answer them less. <laughs> um, so yeah, answer your questions below, and I've gotten some great ideas already for podcasts such as knee tendons and friggin' uh, strength training, oh, you know, all the different basic training type of things that will definitely be covered in this podcast. Um... And yeah, so I'm really pumped. It's day two. I'm feeling really good about it. I'm trying to make it more structured, trying to make it, if you were listening to the podcast uh, last season, I should call it, is that I was all about self-improvement, reading books, different things that were really beneficial, little tips and tidbits and uh, little nuggets of information. So I want to keep that going, but I want to be even more structured. So I want to kind of build my dunk life principles, and that's what today's about. The first, the most important DLD principle that I think is the foundation of every single thing I do, dunk life both sides of it is the awareness. And what do I mean by that? So awareness is simply just being aware of your emotions, your feelings, your body, everything from training on the training side of it is the mind body connection, the awareness, where are you feeling things? How are you stimulating your body? That's the number one training principle that's been the hardest for me, but it's the number one thing I try to stress for people that are trying to dunk and trying to train to dunk is learning what you need. It's a very simple formula to jump higher, but it's very hard to make sure you're using the right components of that formula. For example, you need strength training, you need power training, you need speed training. Simple math, simple physics, the more force you produce, the higher you're going to jump, right? So if I have a certain amount of muscle mass, certain amount of strength, when I jump, it's going to produce a certain amount of force. I can't. I can produce more force with more strength or more speed. It's just math, just physics. But when I ma- when I'm if I have this much muscle in my body, this much meat on my bones, and I run full speed, I can't produce any more force. I can try to get faster, um, and I can try to get stronger. And those are the two things you got to do. But sometimes you you have to know where you're at. So you have that performance window. Daniel Beck, Jump Science is a great. Um, video on performance window. Just look it up. It's a, he has a whole strength training series, Jump Science on YouTube. But you to rate, you can be performing at the top or the bottom of that window. Usually, when you're in your speed training phase and you're like doing your sport specific training, you're at the top of that window. You need to raise that window. You got to get stronger. And even though when you get stronger, you raise that window. If you're on the video podcast, the window's bigger, but you might be performing at the bottom of the window, which is lower than the top of your previous window, just because you're not maximizing that newfound strength. But now your window's higher. AKA your potential is higher. Anyway, that all stems from the awareness of what you need. When people strength train for me, when I was doing it, I was, I I had no good, I had bad mind body connection. I was strength training, ripping apart my muscles, gaining size and digging myself way too deep into the strength training uh, phase, which is going to be another podcast about how to know when you're focused on what thing, like if you, if you strength train for too long, you're just going to become a strength trainer. You're not going to be a dunker. So you got to keep in focus and keep that awareness of where your body's at, how you're feeling, get in tune with it, feel every muscle fiber, feel what's tight, what's not. Um, 
And what, what, what is a way to do this in life? The meditation is great for that because what you do with meditation is you practice bringing that awareness back. So you let your mind drift and then you're able to bring it back to one solid point like your breath, right? So what that does to me is strengthening my awareness throughout the day. If I'm all in my head, I'm, I'm tense, I'm stressed. I remember to breathe and just remember, oh, what the fuck is going on? I, life is great, you know? So that is why today's is the most important DLD principle because it applies to everything. I think it's the foundation of making progress, which I am obsessed with, hence this podcast, hence making it fucking 4K. Yo, I hope it comes out 4K today. I made it 4K the other day. Did it render it properly? You know, I hope it is. We'll see. Anyway, I love pushing the limits, pushing myself what I can do. I'm obsessed with that progress. I'm obsessed with making the most out of this weird black hole colliding result after effect of the universe. Yo, got to watch that documentary. I'm telling you, I'm halfway through it. It's ridiculous. Um, back to awareness with your life. It makes even question everything. So question why you even have these goals. I've questioned, do I even really want to dunk or is it my ego? Is it something I want to prove to other people? But even if no one was watching, even if, and it's okay if that's true, but the point is is that if you're going towards that goal for those reasons, it's not going to lead you to happiness and you're going to not be fulfilled. Um, and I don't say that because I like, I know that, but it's just, you're going for the wrong reasons. If you think it's like, I just want to prove these people wrong. You're going to do it. You're going to be like, okay, well I wasted all this time when it could be spent doing something you friggin' love. So when I question my dunking is like, if nobody's watching, I just love the, the thought of being able to do this, just a really fun activity, probably the most fun physical activity I can do. And all the things I've learned have been super beneficial. So question your entire goals, question your entire passion so you can make sure you're on that right path because full circle, that's when you feel the most energy. And that's why I'm doing all this because when I keep making progress towards what I love and keep making things merge, hence the podcast and the energy and the dunk tips, sharing my knowledge and also sharing my thoughts about life and expressing myself, all of that into one into this podcast. I feel so happy about it. Plus the thought of making my YouTube grow is just amazing too, because I want to live that free life. Um, but that's my goals. That's, I've questioned that forever and I keep questioning. I keep doing it. You've, if you've followed my YouTube for this long time, you've seen the progress. You've seen the things I've tried that didn't work out and I have all these ideas and different things I want to do. But th- as I do all this, I'm building the awareness of why I'm doing it. And that's, that's the foundation helping me navigate. And, that, and that's it. DLD principle number one, awareness. And we'll be back. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can subscribe on the actual podcast for the audio. If you're on audio, vice versa. You feel me? That's it. Have a good one. Happy Thursday. It's a Thursday classic, boys. Too much thinking Thursday. Never too much. Let's go. Toodaloo Thursday. Young life. Oh, that's the anthem right there. Tried to make an intro. Ended up making an anthem.